All right, hey guys, and welcome back to the channel for some very exciting gaming news. And amongst all the hype for the PlayStation 5 announcements this morning, there was one thing in particular that really has caught my interest and something that I've been really excited for for a long time. And that is the Harry Potter game that we've kind of known about, but not really known about for a long time now. It finally got announced and is finally out in the open as to what we can expect. So in today's video, I'm gonna go over everything we know so far about the brand new Harry Potter RPG called Hogwarts Legacy. So basically what Hogwarts Legacy is, is where you're going to embark upon an adventure in the wizarding world of the 19th century. Now, given that time frame, you're obviously not gonna be playing as Harry Potter or any of the cast that we know. But what you're basically gonna be doing is playing as a yet unnamed student who apparently holds the key to an ancient secret that threatens to tear the wizarding world apart. You'll craft potions, master casting, and grow your character, but it's your ability to perceive and master ancient magic that will set you apart from your fellow students and guide the choices you make to protect the secret for the greater good or to give in to the temptation of more sinister magic so that's just a little description of what we can kind of get from the story so far some other things that we do know as well is that it is an rpg that will allow you to roam an open world version of hogwarts as a custom created character this is two things that have me extremely excited i think the open world side of this game is going to be really cool to explore and find new things master new skills which we'll touch on in a minute and also you're going to be playing this as a completely custom created character so you can make it look like yourself you could probably make it look like harry potter if you want to make it look like Harry Potter I'm sure you can make it look like some of your friends or families or really however you want so that's really cool I like when games give you the freedom to customize the character as you choose now moving on from this though some other things that you can do and some other things that we do know about the game is that you can attend classes you can learn new spells you can interact with classmates discover fantastic beasts all around the place and generally do all of the things that you would associate with Hogwarts the school of witchcraft and wizardry now this is really exciting as well because obviously there are a lot of spells we know from the movies, but I'm sure there are a lot that we don't actually know as well. There's going to be things where we may discover new spells, we may find new creatures, we're going to interact with all of our classmates and get our professors to be teaching us these things. So I'm really excited for that aspect. I wonder how they're going to go with the Fantastic Beast side of it. Are we going to be able to make friends with them, tame them? How that's going to work will be really interesting as well. And just something that we probably haven't really seen, I guess you could probably compare it to like a Horizon Zero Dawn type of thing, except in the Hogwarts universe. So these are some really cool things that you can do in the game. Not only that, but along with the trailer, we did already catch a glimpse of the game's new villains, some of the professors and the side characters in this trailer, but it will be really interesting to see the ways that they expand on this universe. Obviously the new villain with the mask is potentially, I'm assuming the main bad guy that we're gonna be up against for the most part, but you know, maybe there's someone else. Maybe that's just a henchman of them. Maybe they're like the Death Eaters to the Voldemort character figure that we may see later in. Obviously it's not going to be Voldemort himself. This is set before Tom Riddle's time, but it may be the same sort of thing. This character with the mask may be someone that is like a lower level leading into a higher level villain that we may see later on. So there's some really cool things that we can take away from the trailer as well. But one thing you guys probably definitely want to know is that there is a 2021 release date for PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, and PC. So pretty much all current consoles and platforms, you will be able to get this game and you will be able to play it when it releases. It doesn't say when in 2021 this is going to be coming out but I'm really excited nonetheless and I can't wait to get my hands on it. Now before we wrap up there's a couple of things from the actual website of this game that I did want to go over. If you go over to the website there is a section where something is on rotate so there's a few sayings that are on rotation throughout the website. It says things like the Gryffindor who grapples with grap horns, the befriender of beasts, the Ravenclaw who dared to discover, the one who defies dragons and a couple couple of more other ones in there including Slytherin, Hufflepuff and some other Potioneer ones. This pretty much gives me the feeling that you're going to be able to choose how your character is built out and how they're fleshed out. Are you going to be a potion master? Are you going to be someone that works really well with creatures and beasts? Are you going to be someone that is extremely strong in spell casting? It feels like it's going to be able to give you that not only the freedom to choose how your character plays but potentially also the house that you're going to be in. If we get to choose your house let me know down in the comment section which house you're going to 
to be in. I am Gryffindor all the way. You guys know this. I know it's super mainstream, but I do actually resonate much more with Gryffindor. And Pottermore told me I was one. So you guys can't tell me any different. I know you're going to say it in the comments, but don't because I'm right. And you know Pottermore is right and they will always be right. Anyways, moving on from all of that, a few other things the website says is that you embark on a journey through familiar and new locations as well as you explore and discover fantastic beasts, customize your character and craft potions, master spell casting, upgrade talents, and become the wizard you want to be. So again, just reinforcing the fact that you're going to choose and be able to upgrade yourself the way you want your character to play. The most important part out of all that, not only besides master spell casting, is upgrading talents. And talents could probably come from a number of things, like I said, to potentially taming beasts, to potion making, to spell casting, and other things like that. I'm assuming most games like this will have some sort of skill tree where you can upgrade things as you go along, or it will just have different things that you can unlock towards each higher level. So really cool option for customization there as well. The last bit that I will leave you with is something that sort of ties around the storyline, and it does say on the website that you've received a late acceptance letter to the Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, and soon discovered that you're no ordinary student. You possess an unusual ability to perceive and master ancient magic. Only you can decide if this will be used for the secret of good or yield to the temptation of sinister magic. And I did mention that at the start of the video, but I think this is going to be a really cool dimension of the game as well. So you seem to be the only one that has this power to possess ancient magic and you get to choose what you do with it. Are you going to be the good guy or are you going to be the bad guy? I really don't know which way I'm going to go yet. I will figure that out. I know I said I was a Gryffindor, so really I should be on the good side. But you know, when it comes to Star Wars, I am dark side all the way. So It'll probably be what I find more interesting when I'm actually playing the game, which way I go between those two. It finishes off by saying, discover the feeling of living at Hogwarts as you make allies, battle dark wizards, and ultimately decide the fate of the wizarding world. Your legacy is what you make of it. This is really cool, uh, guys. I'm super excited for this game. I know you are all too. Finally, we have a brand new Harry Potter game in RPG format. There have been a few Harry Potter games over the years, but nothing that's going to be nearly as fleshed out and as developed as this is. We know this has been in the making since potentially I think 2017 or 2018, something along those lines. Someone might be able to correct me down below, but this game, if leaks are true, has been in the works for a couple of years and I can see it being really well done, really fleshed out and a deep story behind it as well. So I'm super excited. I know you guys are as well, but that's pretty much everything we know so far. Like I said, if I do have any other updates to this game along the way, it's something I definitely want to cover. So so if you want to see more about this game in the future, make sure you leave a like down below. And if you're brand new, subscribe to the channel and turn on those notifications so you don't miss any videos in the future. Now, obviously this game is still a little bit away, so it may not be covered right away. But if there is any updates along the path to actually the release date of this, I will keep you guys informed. But with all of that said, I'm going to get out of here. I appreciate every one of you that tuned in today. Thank you so much for watching and may the force be with you always. The Sith are all powerful. You are no match for me.